Hello, today I will show you how to install Argo CD using Ansible Playbook because this is something that I promised last time when I was recording a tutorial about installation of Argo CD but using a bash script. I also created a separate Ansible Playbook that removes Argo CD. Here we go. First of all, uh, I would like to display the content of both files and show you how they look like. If you're curious uh, what uh, exactly they are doing, I will provide a description for each single step in my tutorial on my website so you will be able to understand how they are working. First of all, Vim the Argo CD install YML file. This is an Ansible playbook. So, basic steps create Argo CD namespace. Without this namespace, Helm will not install Argo CD because it will fail, saying that there is a problem that there is no Argo CD namespace defined. And that is why we create Argo CD namespace at the beginning. And then you can see add Argo CD repository, update repository, install Argo CD using Helm, create ingress for Argo CD, then pass for three minutes to allow Argo CD to initialize because we need to modify the config map to get rid of the, let's say, funny error because when you will log in to the web panel of Argo CD, there is a button called logout. And if you will click on it, it will redirect you to the argocd.example.com. I have no idea why this error still occurs. However, this is the solution. So um, we are getting the config map argocd-cm-config map uh, to a file in a YAM format. Then we update argocd config map uh, by using a regular expression. So we are looking for example.com and in my case, I'm replacing it with sysadmin.homes because this is my full qualified domain name. And after that, we modified and we applied this file and thanks to this, our Argo CD config map is updated. Okay, so let's quit this and now let's focus on remove. Uh, so here you can see it is uh, scaling all deployments uh, in the Argo CD namespace to zero replicas. Then it removes the deployments, services, stateful sets, service accounts, bindings, CD roles, Argo CD roles, and uh, ingress at the end and remove namespace after that. Okay, so let's quit without saving. And now it is time to run this playbook. So Ansible dash playbook and Argo CD dash install dot YML. Here we go. It should run the job and it should gather the facts. It should create a namespace. After that, it should add Argo CD repository, then update repository using Helm, install Argo CD using Helm. And after that, it should create an ingress for Argo CD and then it will wait three minutes to initialize the whole configuration and you can see control C then C continue early um, but we will wait for this um, just because this is something that it is crucial in this step and I hope we will be able to proceed with the installation. So in the meantime, I will do something like this and I will duplicate the connection. And I'm going to show you this watch to observe the status kubectl get all in a namespace uh, Argo CD. And here we go, we have all ports up and running, all services are working, deployments are up and running, there is no problem, replica sets created, everything is properly done, so you can see everything is up to date, there is no problem at all, it is just 
working. Control C to break it. And now I will get out from here. But it is good to wait oh, three minutes. So we will wait. And then the config map should be replaced and it should be working. But in the meantime, um, I should do one simple thing and I will duplicate it one more time. And now I will try to get the initial administrator password to be able to log in to the system. So I will copy this line paste it here you should see there is an initial password so let's just highlight it then shift ctrl c to copy go to browser and now i will try to open the argo cd here and argo cd says admin.homes it's working i will type admin then shift insert to provide the password and that's it we are logged in and now if i will click on logout argo cd example.com this is something funny but this is the strange behavior and because this task is still in progress and i will show you um 180 seconds it takes a lot of time continue early Control c then a or board and no we will wait i hope it will work after that and this is the funny thing that should be fixed thanks to uh, our config map and you can see apply the modified argo cd now it's working so let's go back to browser and check the configuration but i will copy the password one more time uh, the initial one to be sure that I have a proper password and now I will open the Argo CD and I will log in using admin and the password there we go it's working so now I will click log out and now it's working like a charm there's no problem at all so because the domain is replaced for example.local example.com is uh, changed to sorry to argo cd uh, to sysadmin.homes actually without argo cd um, it replaced only the fqdn and that all and the argo cd at the beginning is the same so i kept the pattern and now if you're wondering why this work um because of my uh, Engine's ingress controller and i already presented it in a previous uh, tutorial but i will show you this but i will need to log in there so just give me a second and i will just put my login and password okay so i will click here and i will use my password manager go now it's working it's logging I will click on this and I will then uh, edit this Argo CD on this one. Edit this one. And you can see Argo CD dot sysadmin.homes. And because I know that it is working the way that um, by default it has something like Argo CD dot example dot com, then I just created Argo CD subdomain and added it as a wildcard in my Nginx proxy manager and I explained how it is working in a previous tutorial so if you want to you can watch it and see how everything is done but this is the way and it points to the IP address of the host where my cluster is working and where the Argo CD is installed and because I keep the pattern so I keep the name Argo CD like this it's working but of course you can change it if you want to um what I want to show you um, this is something that is really um, nice um, I will go back to the command line and I would like to explain this uh, thing just because some of you may be um, confused what I'm talking about 
and I will edit it one more time on the Argo CD install YML file and I will then go shift G at the end and here is something like example.com but the full URL in the config map of Argo CD looks like this Argo uh, CD dot example dot com so you can change it to so for example Argo instead and Argo sysadmin dot homes but you need to remember to change the name or add it in Nginx proxy manager or on your DNS I mean external DNS that I was talking about in a previous tutorial so you need to add a line Argo dot FQDN right and then after that it will work so it will be recognized so I will undo this change because Argo CD is the default name and I decided okay I will use the pattern that is fine and now it is time to get rid of the Argo CD but before I will just log out from the Argo CD and from my Nginx proxy manager so let's get rid of this and from this and by the way um, I recommend you to go to user info and update passwords so here you need to provide us your initial password and then new password twice and save the new password I will cancel it because I don't need it for this tutorial log out working close this window go back to command line and now get rid of the Argo CD so unsible dash playbook and remove the Argo CD and you will see the result it's removing and in the meantime I will use something like watch you will see that terminating all of this and Control C and I will go back here and you can see everything is removed and at the end it should remove the Argo CD uh, namespace and it should do the job and the task should be completed that's it everything is working as expected and now um, I think it's a good idea to decrease the time for the install uh, where the slip is um, defined so pause maybe not for three minutes but for one and it should be better so one minute is fine and one minute uh, get rid of this um yeah and i will save it and now i will install it once again so ansible dash playbook and argo cd while file so it should install now so you will see that it is repeatable so there's no problem at all and you can run the simple playbook also you can run it um, using the AWX so what you need to do in to put this um, Ansible playbook into the GitLab repository for example as I presented or locally in varlib AWX project paths and after that you can just run it without any issue I mean AWX will be able to install Argo CD on any remote host all you need to do is just to define this host in the inventory and it will do the job for you you can use fully qualified domain name if you want to so you can watch my uh, tutorial about FQDN and also the AWX will be able to use FQDN and it, yeah, it will install remotely the Argo CD on a host. Where do you want to have it? So, but bear in mind that, yeah, you need a Kubernetes cluster to install Argo CD on the top of the cluster. And now um, 60 seconds should be um, much faster than the three minutes, 180 seconds. So yeah it's continuing it's done fine check the status kubectl get 
then O in a namespace Argo CD and everything is up and running. There's no problem at all. The config map should be working. So let's check one more time our initial password. Here we go. And now the password is of course different. And let's highlight it, copy it and check one more time in a browser. Is it working as expected? So, Argo CD. Here we go, it's working. Username, admin, and the password from the command line, it's working like a charm. And now, I will not remove the Argo CD. I will leave it as it is, but I will go to user info, or click on current password, and a new password. I need a new one, so I will generate some kind of password. Um, for Argo CD, I have a, this one maybe, yeah, and now save a new password, and save, log out, and it's done, and now let's log in using a new password, so let's check this, it's working, there's no problem at all, that is fine, and the last thing, go to settings, and then appearance, you can switch it to dark dim and that is we have a dark mode really nice applications settings if you are curious how to use argo cd you have a documentation here so you can read the documentation and follow it i recommend watching argo cd tutorials i will for sure record a new one about argo cd how to implement it and how to use it it with gitlab to make it work right log out and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you very much. Have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.